Well, there, there have been some concerns expressed by people who felt like uh, Obama is not fully their candidate, that uh, he's not completely reliable. But I would say that that's been a tiny minority. This is the Democratic Convention. Obama is the nominee. And certainly 95%, I'd venture to say, 96% of LGBT participants in the Democratic National Convention are 100% behind Obama at this point. Yeah, we've been to most of the, I guess you'd call them the talky gay events, the Gay and Lesbian Caucus, the uh, luncheon this afternoon, and we'll keep going to those. Uh, there have also been a lot of nighttime social events, and we've been to some of those, but not all of them. Well, we specifically re um, helped to remove the words gay and lesbian from the platform because in the platform section, the draft said gay and lesbian families, and we thought that was not inclusive enough of our community. So we changed that to that Dem Democrats value all families, including same-sex couples, and definitely we think that's more reflective of lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender Americans, where before just using the words gay and lesbians um, really didn't describe exactly who all of our community was. If I would make a change in the platform committee, I'd have liked to have seen the words gay, lesbian, bi, transgender um, used far more often than we actually used it. Although I believe Barack runs on a very strong platform that speaks to equal rights and gay rights, but anytime you're down and there's an African-American lesbian, when you're down to get up, you have to work a little bit harder, and so I would have, I would have liked to see more inclusive language like that in the, in the platform. I think we're going to need a much larger, useful group to talk to. About well, that. let's talk, and however I can help, and okay. if you have a fundraiser, I'd be happy to come out and speak. Okay, and just like a real to way to reach. That you. is the real way to reach me. I actually think that because of progress that our community has made politically. We will see nothing but continued advances, both on the federal level and on the state level. We've made great advances in non-discrimination, state by state across the country, and certainly with the platform that the Democratic Party has put out and statements that uh, Obama has made, whether it's repealing Don't Ask, Don't Tell, or an inclusive non-discrimination employment non-discrimination act, I, I do think that we will see good things coming from this administration. If they are elected and if the Republicans are elected, we too will uh, work doggedly to make sure that our community is addressed as well. One of the biggest differences today in the United States between the two political parties, the two major political parties, uh, it turns on LGBT rights and the Democrats are overwhelmingly supportive and the Republicans overwhelmingly negative. And uh, look, if you are a wealthy white gay man and you and your partner both have health insurance and you live in a big city, you probably aren't being discriminated against. But if you are concerned about advancing our ability to win equality, and if you remember what it was like when you were 15 and didn't have these kind of protections and don't want to deny others those protections, then the obvious vote is for Barack Obama. The uh, Democrats Abroad platform is very good on gay and lesbian issues. Number one, pass the Uniting American Families Act so that the people like me who have to live outside of America because we have a non-U.S. partner, because U.S. law specifically prohibits us from bringing our partners in, a terrible law called the Defense of Marriage Act, pass the Uniting American Families Act, give respect to all families, including LGBT families, so that people like me, U.S. citizens, can come home. This isn't a question of immigration reform. This is a question of my rights as a U.S. citizen. I am a second-class U.S. citizen because I have to live abroad because I'm in love with a foreigner. My partner is a foreigner. We're married in Holland. <laughs> well, right now we have a, um, a marriage, so-called marriage protection amendment that's going to be on the ballot in November that we're fighting. Uh, we've still got that, that radical, right, religious, fanatical people that are very much at pull, trying to pull their voters in by putting this on the ballot because it's, it is still illegal in Florida for um, same, same gender folks like us to, to marry. It's also illegal in Florida for us to adopt children. Uh, we are fighting that too, so it's, it's a struggle. I've been a platform drafter three times and I have to say this platform is the absolute very best that we could um, hope for. I think it's extraordinary. I think Barack Obama understands our issues and will embrace 
uh, his role as an assistant to us in securing full equality for LGBT people. The Hillary Clinton supporters, the die-hard supporters, have really taken a long time to um, get over their disappointment. But I think something happened here at the convention in the last couple of days that is moving to change that. We were hearing from people on the air who just still were, you know, supporters of Hillary and, and were really um, just not ready to do it. But there was um, a lunch today for the LGBT caucus, Barney Frank hosted, and Tammy Baldwin, both of whom were Hillary Clinton supporters and both of whom are now behind Barack Obama. And Michelle Obama was a surprise guest and gave a speech that riveted the audience and really spoke to the heart about gay issues. And I think that that really started that process for a lot of people. And then I think Hillary Clinton's speech tonight really went a long way to saying to people, look, the stakes are too big here. It's time for you to get behind our nominee. So I think that's happening. I think you're hearing a lot of drama. I think by November, everybody will be behind Barack Obama.